Hi, my name is Billy Riggs, Assistant Professor of City Planning at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. This is a preview of a new course I'm offering, uh, a revamp of my course, City Regional Planning 213, in the flip course model. What I'm going to show you right now is some changes I've made to the whole course structure, followed by um, the first module, which has been which is the module I focused on flipping, uh, the rest of the course will be flipped over the course of the chapter, the course of the, uh, the term. Uh, first, let's focus on uh, the, the top section here. Um, what I've done here is, is gone over uh, the basic tools and uh, methods that we'll be using for the course. Uh, similarly to the, what we've learned in our flip course classroom, I've offered uh, numerous different points of discussion for online collaboration. I've also uh, made uh, placed the entire syllabus online, which I had been reticent to do in the past, um, but I feel like this makes uh, uh, things most accessible to my students as well uh, as most um, straightforward. Uh, the information is all in one place. They know where to find their classroom protocols as well as their percents of grades and as well as what I've, the, the tentative course plan. This is also downloadable if you go back to the main course site down at, uh, at, at the bottom of uh, page one. Uh, there's a PDF copy of the syllabus right here. So let's talk about the first module. The first module, which is the flip module, I've structured in a way where the out-of-class or formative assessment is based on watching a, a, um, a preliminary lecture. And we'll go to the lecture right now. Uh, I've done this on YouTube, and this is a lecture. Um, what I've gone through is I have some specific content that I'd like them to focus on. I've gone through and I've screencast my lecture. Uh, we won't spend time playing through that right now, uh, but as you can see, it's there on YouTube. I'm also um, requiring them uh, to review the syllabus before coming to the first, first class. The way I'm um, taking things from formative to um, higher level thinking is this piece right here. Um, they're going to come in, and upon coming to class, we're going to do a free writing exercise. I found that free writing is very effective at encouraging students to write and express uh, what they're thinking. And it's a non-pressured uh, situation, especially for students that aren't as comfortable t uh, speaking up in class. Um, we'll also spend uh, some of the first module in group formation and discussion of an infographic that uh, is from the New York Times. That infographic I'll be providing as a part is it's a part of the um, the first lecture, but I'll also be providing that for um, as a hard copy in class. Um, we'll spend the entire class on that activity. The second core part of the class involves focusing in on some of the required readings. Um, as you see, when you click on these, and this is a, a link to a PDF, it doesn't show up in the browser. Um, but uh, these two readings uh, are done out of class, and they link to a quiz. Uh, this is a quiz that is timed. Um, in our case, uh, I'm logged in as, as the instructor, so I will um, click on it. You will see uh, that it allows me to take the quiz. Uh, it's a five-question quiz um, that goes over that, but it also allows me to, to focus in on what the students want to get out of the class and to tailor some of the future assignments to, um, to their needs. Well, let's go back to the course and uh, talk about the overall structure and how I plan to kind of to judge the success of this model. Um, this is a course with the lab. Um, I've done the same thing with the lab every week, um, looking at uh, different lessons. Um, this is one of the lessons where um, we do a lot of the, the basic Excel work outside of class. I have one simple quiz question here at the end that goes over what is a, what is a critical Excel uh, tool that they should be using. Uh, and then finally, uh, moving beyond kind of that formative piece, they have an implementation piece where they will actually download lab materials. Um, these are available on the website. You'll see when it comes up. 
uh, that each of these they download. If we click on the PDF here, uh, should pop up, and this is actually an activity uh, that they that the students work through. Um, talks uh, gives a little bit of an overview of Excel. Talks about some of the stuff they learned, uh, and then talks about um, the exercise, doing charts, editing charts, um, and then how to save it on PolyLearn. Moving on through the rest of the course, you'll see that I've uh, structured it so there's many out-of-class um, videos and readings um, that will be supplemented through in-class activities. Um, but what I'd like to focus on are uh, these assignments. Now, these assignments here, assignment one, if you scroll down, uh, assignment two here, assignment three, we can start getting into housing and assignment three here. Uh, so we start off focusing on population methods, then economic methods, and then finally on housing methods. And the reason that I, um, I structure it in this way, um, this is a new thing, and what I'm having them do is they're actually going to be conducting an actual report for a local client. Um, it is going to be a housing needs assessment. As you can see here, I've done another video um, that talks about my own research and housing. Uh, this is something that, uh, as you can see, I've put in my own music into this video. There's uh, the talking head. Probably a little too much of the talking head. We're going to kill off the talking head. Ultimately, the formative assessment will happen in the form of a wiki. Uh, that will be the culmination of all these assignments. Each of these assignments will be submitted as a part of a wiki. They'll be done as a group. And then ultimately this will form uh, a housing needs assessment wiki. We will be using the wiki tool. Uh, and that will be the way that I will assess it. Uh, and as I've talked about in class, uh, one of the things that... I'm still challenged with uh, is is how to potentially assess that, but we'll work on that over the next couple weeks and develop it in progress. So with that said, I hope you've enjoyed this basic summary of how I'm going to intend to use the flip course models. This is Billy Riggs signing out. Thank you very much, and I've really enjoyed this course. Bye-bye. for now. So